Okay, uh, come on in close and we get some audio on this. I made phone calls about an hour and a half ago to my sources, and I said, McMaster's the reported leaker almost every time. He's the one we know Trump's really, really pissed at and has been testing leaks with. And then I, you know, again, I uh, was making phone calls to my sources saying, wait a minute, there's only a few people in this meeting with the Russian ambassador to the United States and the Russian foreign minister, Lavrov, and the media was already saying he's a Russian agent for meeting with him, the president is, and the president's not allowed to talk to anybody, only the deep state is, all this craziness, and oh, they might have plant, planted listening devices. And then suddenly McMaster, who was in the meeting with the Secretary of State and one other unmentioned person, so you got Trump, the Russian ambassador, the Russian foreign minister, and then you've got the Secretary of State, you've got uh, the head of the National Security uh, Advisor, McMaster, and then who's this other person there that they're claiming is the leaker when it's McMaster that over and over again has been caught doing this and who we know is making these big leaks. And so I made phone calls saying, isn't McMaster probably the main suspect? And they said, absolutely, that's the word. So then I, I just got here about an hour ago, talked to Roger, he made some phone calls. Uh, he's here in Austin visiting, came back about 45 minutes later and said, man, that is on target. McMaster is the main guy. It's fingered right now. We're investigating him. So, Roger, let's let's talk about what's happened, what's unfolded. Now they've gone from claiming that Trump's a Russian agent because he met with the Russians, something presidents are supposed to do, or didn't have photographers in the room that were American. That wasn't true either, or let the Russians hide this listing device, which wasn't true. Now the Washington Post comes out and says he gave all this classified info on ISIS and what we were doing. The U.S., for, as you know, for three years has been working with Russia, taking out ISIS and al-Qaeda in Syria. That's all over the news. The Russians and the United States share intelligence. But now McMaster, the National Security Advisor, comes out and says, this is totally made up in a press conference about an hour and a half ago. Uh, Trump did not share classified info. So he looks like he, to me, is trying to be the savior here because he knows Trump had his neck on the chopping block. That's the motive. We haven't even talked about this in detail yet. What's your breakdown? First of all, I think it's really important that the American people know that this story is false. Donald Trump did not give any classified secret information to the Russians. That is bogus. The uh, leak definitely came out of the NSA, did not come out of the White House. Yet another finger pointed at McMaster. Uh, as uh, Mike Cernovich reported on InfoWars, McMaster's head is on the chopping block, and therefore he has just leaked this to make himself indispensable. They had to march McMaster out for the denial, and therefore now they can't fire him or they can't laterally move him. Here's the key point. According to CNN, the leak of classified information has to do with the fact that ISIS is developing technology to use a laptop computer as a bomb to get those computers on a plane. That's classified? The Russians are our ally in the fight against ISIS, uh, and the president gave away no classified information. This is a classic Washington scam in which McMaster is trying to save his turf. And let's expand, let's expand on that just to be clear. McMaster has the history, he has the motive, he's been caught doing this over and over again. And it's been known that ISIS and Al-Qaeda is trying to use laptops for at least six months. So there's this obsession by the deep state to always act like Trump is somehow engaged in treason as the president talking to the Russians, meeting with the Russians, to the point of he hasn't even met with Putin yet. They're trying to paralyze him. That's what Ronald Reagan did. It's what George W. Bush did. It's what Barack Obama it's did. Job. It's part of his job. And so we know this guy's for America. We know this guy's expanding the republic. Uh, we know all this stuff. Hey, come here. Come here. Come on up on camera. I'm just happy. I no, no, no. You're calling the traitors. No, no. Oh, I get it. I get it. I know. Get our job.